Hey Mallards, it's Wednesday, and usually this would be my campaign journal from the Monster of the Week game that I'm currently involved in. However, due to some unforeseen circumstances, we are not playing this week, and due to foreseen circumstances, we're not playing next week, so it's going to be a little bit of time uh, before we get back to it. This week, we were all set and ready to game, but uh, two of our members who are boyfriend and girlfriend and live with each other had a pipe burst in their ceiling, and as a result, the drywall has been cut around the ceiling to stop, to prevent like moisture from spreading and to stop it from ruining their entire wall in their apartment. And uh, we started game and we were like, all right, we can still do this. They've had a tough day, but it's all fine now. And then their cat got into the wall, like jumped up, got into the hole near the ceiling and got into the wall and uh, that pretty much ended game. They did get her back out. She is safe now. They're moving her someplace else where she can no longer get in the wall, but it did sort of put a damper on playing game. So we didn't play this week, which is fine. Instead of talking about that game and how excited I am about it, I thought I would talk about some other things instead. And those things are endings. Um, uh, I think I mentioned this already, but I finished Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., a show that I have vastly enjoyed for a long time, and one of my favorite Marvel Cinematic Universe creations, although not by far my favorite, but I just have enjoyed the characters they've developed on that show and everything about it. And I thought that that series ended beautifully, with a very nice send-off that was a little bit bittersweet but still interesting and still left enough room for the characters to potentially grow and expand, which is important in something like the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, but it was a very good wrap-up to the series. I felt very fulfilled finishing that. Then, there's Supernatural, which I just finished tonight. And what I'll say about Supernatural is that I feel like Supernatural could have ended several times uh, after season five, could have ended. After season 10, could have ended. So at the end of this season, I was curious to see how they would wrap it up. And I actually thought that the end of the penultimate episode, which essentially ends with them saving the world and driving off into the sunset, while a bunch of memories from all of the seasons play, was a good ending. I was fine with that. It leaves, I, I kind of like openness, I think, in my ending. So, like, it leaves it a little bit open. The boys are still out there. They're still doing stuff. Um, but instead, and wow, there are going to be so many major spoilers right now. They come back for another episode where Dean dies in a sort of, lackluster fight with some vampires that they totally should have been able to take and I also don't understand why the world has monsters again like Jack basically became God and remade the world like why did he make monsters maybe so Sam and Dean wouldn't be bored I don't know but it seems like they haven't found a lot of monsters since Jack remade the world but then they happen to stumble across them and uh it ends with Dean dying in kind of a dumb way and also like in a way that I'm pretty sure earlier in other seasons like it would have hurt but he would have survived I don't know it was strange but he goes to heaven and then we watch Sam live out his life and become old which is how it was always implied that things would be like Dean always said that he would die hunting and that Sam would get a chance to really live that full life. And so we watched Sam live his life, marry a nondescript woman, because I don't know what happened with the girl he was dating. Maybe she ended up being dead because she was meant to be. I, I don't know. Anyway, ends up with some other woman, has a son that he names Dean. Watch, we watch him grow up. We <laughs> see, this is maybe what really bugged me. So we see his mantle, which at the top is a really big picture of the Winchester family as in Sam, Dean, Mary, and John that shot from like the one night they had where they were all together. I can't remember who gifted that to them, but it was like 
earlier this season or maybe no sorry not this season but like just before Mary left again they had like one night of an imagined world where everybody was together and so it's like that photo huge and then a photo that I think is maybe Jody and the boys I don't know or maybe just Mary and Sam and Dean um and a couple of other photos and then like some photos that I think are of Sam's kid but none of his supposed wife the mother of his child and it's just weird to me that the huge photo is of like all of his dead family and none of his living family I don't know it just seems like a strange choice anyway you watch Sam live out his life and then eventually he dies and then you have seen Dean and you get to see them both in heaven and so it just ends with them being in heaven and moving on to the afterlife and like getting the rest they deserve and I think that that is nice, uh, but I didn't need that at all. And I would have rather enjoyed the them driving off into the sunset thing. I don't know. It just felt a little strange, especially because it's implied by Bobby in that episode that Cass helped build heaven, but we don't get any sort of wrap up with the whole Cass basically told Dean that he loved him sort of thing and we don't see John and Mary even though it's implied that they're there and we haven't seen Jody at all which is really annoying to me personally uh and so I just found it kind of lackluster in a way that if I'd stopped an episode earlier I would have been like well that was pretty I don't know. That's that's where I sit. If you've seen the endings of these two series, tell me what you thought about them and I'll see you tomorrow.